Hi, my name is Allison Detheridge. I'm a sixth and eighth grade English teacher and a part of the HRS leadership team here at Winthorst. And here I'm going to be talking about the leading indicator 2.3 and the predominant instructional practices throughout the school are known and monitored. So here, level 2.3 was an area of strength. Um, I, we have attached our admin and teacher survey to that. The staff responded at 393. Um, for our survey results and our admin was a three. So we use the HRS leadership scale to reflect on our current practices in the leading indicator of 2.3, and we feel we are performing at the applying level. We have an effective system in place to monitor instructional practices. Our administrator frequently visits classroom and is aware of instructional strategies being used. Teachers are supported and received appropriate coaching to improve their pedagogical skills. <clears throat> in reviewing our level two survey findings, our current practice on level 2.2 leadership scale of the HRS leadership team determined that level 2.3 was an area of strength. Our school leaders and teachers can describe the school's predominant instructional practices. The campus principal is able to discuss effective practices and problems of practice, as well as give appropriate feedback and suggestions about teacher-specific instructional practice. So here are some lagging indicators and practice of artifacts. So we have our walkthrough schedule, walkthrough Google Calendar, staff meeting agendas, where the school leader focuses on predominant instructional practices and a video of a teacher discussing feedback from the walkthroughs. Uh, goal connection to the instructional model. So here's our instructional model and individual teachers professional growths are created around the campus instructional model which is aligned to both t-test domains and the NASOT elements. Here's the example of our walkthrough schedule. So to ensure that everyone has the same amount of walkthroughs each semester, uh, Mr. Longcrier keeps a checklist of each teacher and the date that they received each walkthrough. And here we also provided a link to the walkthrough schedule as well. And then the observation calendar. So in addition to the walkthrough schedule, Mr. Longcrier util utilizes Google Calendar to schedule evaluations, post conferences, and to talk about what he sees in our classroom and offer strategies for improvement. We've also linked the um, calendar for Mr. Longcrier within this presentation. Uh, meeting agendas. So Mr. Longcrier has designed our weekly teacher meetings to reflect our instructional model, providing us with strategies and discussions for improvement. Pictured here is a sample of Mr. Longcrier's agenda for the staff meetings. And then we also have meeting notes from uh, teachers who are taking notes while this is going here. So here pictured are notes taken by a teacher in one of our weekly meetings. This shows specific mini PD at the beginning, strategies to implement the element of waiting time, and a book that could be helpful to teachers struggling. Additionally, the teachers recorded the name of the resource found in the Marzano Compendium for the reference. For a link for more faculty notes, you can click on that link. So here we have provided the um, Teacher Reflection by Mackenzie Haverland as she reflects on the instructional practices of Winthorpe High School, and we have linked the video in that as well. And here for task C, we're closing the loop since level 2.3 is an area of strength for us.